I could talk about John Feldman's multiple Grammy nominations and his platinum records and the hundreds of bands that he's written with and performed with and recorded with and slept with. And by slept with, I mean that anytime I go to John and Amy's house, there are a myriad of musicians sleeping on couches and guest rooms and floors, and John and Amy are people who take you in. If you know them, you know that about him. I could talk about that, but I'm really here just to say that John takes his recovery as passionately as he does his music. And I've been lucky to have John in my sober life for many, many years. John is truly the best human I've ever met. John always picks up the phone. He will always talk you off the ledge. He always tells you he loves you. And the truth is, he means it. He is egoless. He walks his talk. He puts his recovery first, always. He's the best father I know, the best husband, and the best friend you could ever have. I do love you, John, and it is my great pleasure to help honor one of tonight's great sober humans, John Feldman. Hi. How's it going? I'm John, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi! Thank you, John. Um, John Gatins is my fucking hero. He's the best dad, the best husband. He wrote, he wrote the movie Flight, which is the best fucking movie about alcoholism that I have ever seen. He's a legend. I want to thank Wes for putting the show on, Rock to Recovery. This is an amazing event. When I got sober 30 years ago, I was fired from a used clothing store called Aardvarks. I don't know about your fucking bottoms, but that's my bottom, and uh, I beat you. I got sober and I got my job back at Aardvark. So miracles happen in recovery, people. What we do in recovery, I just wanna say, I was working with this one band, these famous kids from Australia, and they were like, what do you do? And, and, and I said, well, you know, if I drink, I break out in handcuffs and institutions. And the guys were like, what does that even mean? You know what I mean? Like, what does that even mean? And uh, the first guy says, you know, did you ever get kicked out of school? And I said, yeah, I was kicked out of high school. And the second guy goes, did you ever get a DUI for drunk driving? And I said, yeah, I got a DUI. And then the third guy, he says, did you ever go to jail? And I'm like, yep, I went to jail. And the fourth guy goes, did you ever hook up with a dude? <laughs> and I'm like, we gotta get back to work right now, like, is what I said. I love my life. Yeah, I say it and uh, I mean it. I, I truly love my life. I love being sober. I can't compare my life to the way it used to be to the way it is. And um, I'm so grateful to be here. Thanks, everybody.